Yay! They've a female dance crew too. This is very fast, even for girl dance though. Wow, this does not look easy. <laughs> At all. Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another animation video on this channel. Today I'll be watching and reacting to B.I. once again with his newest comic, Keep Me Up. From, well, last night pretty much. It came out 6 a.m. my time, which is uh, obviously not the time I'm waking up. The earliest I wake up is like 9 a.m. Uh, now it is technically much, much later than that, as in the afternoon hours for me. But uh, yeah, I, I took my sweet time today because the last few days were crazy. Now, I already just checked out BTBT and have not heard that up until five minutes ago when I recorded that. So that will be already out on my channel if you want to see that reaction. Other than that, there will be also players for BI and Icon in general in the pin comment under this video if you want to check out more reactions now let's check it out i have not seen teasers to this i have no idea what this sounds like curious to see if the storyline the concept of bitty bitty gets um like continued here that sounds a bit like bitty bitty right is it not also it had the video which is like the science fiction stuff from bitty bitty Wait, this beat sounds awfully a lot like Bitty Bitty so far, no? Okay, now they changed it a bit with the 808s. Oh, I see very old uh, GameCube games there. Nice. Cassette tapes. Among all the GameCube games, he has his tape. Which looks like from the future. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. I think that was bitty bitty in the beginning, somewhat. Okay. Hello, mister. Mr. Hanben. Oh, we're half naked. Ooh. Okay. Show your moves. What does it say here? Sorry. Middle review. Okay. Wow. I see, I see his direction of music. I see where he's going. Oh, wow. What a shot. Who are you? That's a cool transition. Oh my lord. Kicking the bottle away. The can motto. Wow, his dancing is really good. Like, very fast. So much upper body movement. Yay! They have a female dance crew, too. Their outfits are wild. And I like the choreography, too. I know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm straight up gonna send this to my girlfriend because she is a da dancer and she has a dance crew. Maybe they can do this. This is very fast, even for girl dance though. Wow, this does not look easy. <laughs> At all. Hmm. Ooh, the flying rocks. Positions in this video are really nice. Oh, we're in this building, right? We're in this building where, like, Strakis Elevator and so on and so on uh, happened. I think it's this building. The very famous k building by now. I think it used to be that church where Jesse did Who That Be On. Uh, that used to be, like, the most popular <laughs> location for a while. Like, a good year or two. And now this, for the past two or three years, this has popped up much more and more. And I feel like this is now the go-to location in a way. At, at, at some point, you know, everyone that da includes this location, they always try to color saturated differently so it looks a bit different and it doesn't give off like oh that's the same location again oh that's the same location again vibe but really at some point it does get a bit boring so i wish they would just move on you know they as in the industry i mean it, it is a cool building don't get me wrong but it just appears so often everywhere it must be cheap to film at huh i mean it's an abandoned building so it's also really useful very big space. Wait, this is a different building, actually. Or is it? 
because they have a roof actually. Yeah, that's a bit different. Never mind. It just has a similar style. Okay. Oh, couple dance. Oh, I like I like the female moves. Here, the the wave. They have a lot of spins. Hey, let's go some rap. My effort I know this song, like, I know what it's supposed to say. <laughs> Fireworks burst, nice. <laughs> We're still, by the way, the location in the background, not location, more so the, the set. It's computer generated. Everything except this building there in front of. Everything around it is computer generated. And it's still playing, I think, in the same world as Bitty Bitty was playing. Which is cool. The futuristic. Uh, flying trains, flying cars. Ooh. Trying. There's one critique point I have for this, honestly. Thinking a bit about more though, before I say it. Ah, we're going back to this. Cool concept with the beginning and the end. Ziku has done this before, stuff like that. It's not that original, but it's cool, nevertheless. And the set they built here, which is in the same building where they dance in, is really cool. It shows, like, this video has a very dystopian feeling to it, to be honest. Like, even the background CGI, earlier when they were dancing, it's very dystopian looking and just like, I don't know, everyone is like trying to do their best to get money, I guess. So that's how the economy developed. And then at some point they're developed so much that everyone is just kind of living the economy, not so much, uh, or development, not so much really living, living. And uh, that obviously creates some people that get left behind, you know. I mean, even in nowadays society, people get left behind. There's, let's just say there's homeless people, for example, right? They're left behind of development and and everything that is going on, really. Like, they can't get the newest iPhones and stuff like that, for example, right? So, if you really drastically over that into the future, and let's say we have flying cars and everything, and let's just say you cannot get to work if you don't have a flying car because all of the jobs will be so far away or whatever, right? The supermarket's only in the air. Shit like that. It's just think dystopian, right? If that would happen, like, how the heck do people that are, for example, homeless or not that rich, at least, to, to get those cars... How do those people even live? They, they don't really. They're living in the underground, which is on the floor, which is kind of what he is doing here. You see, like, this bed, um, the mattress on the um, pallets here, with the tons of bottles around it that are all empty. Seems like he's been hanging out here for a while. And that's, like, all his stuff, you know, pretty much, that he has. And he's, like, in the banner building and everything. It's a really cool setup. I just think... And I think, honestly, the concept is amazing, again. And I like that he... Continue that from BTBT. So concept-wise, 10 out of 10, maybe 9 out of 10. This is really good. I have one critique point for this song, though. I think um, they kind of tried to do what BTBT did, but they, they kind of didn't do it as well. So BTBT and Keep Me Up are both R&B-focused. Keep Me Up more so has pop elements in there, and you could say it's kind of like a mix between the two with a little bit more focus on pop, whereas BTBT clearly is an R&B song. And they try to make a pop R&B mix with Keep Me Up that is still somewhat slow and repetitive in parts. Even their choreography repeats a lot. I like the choreography, but that also repeats a lot. So this has potential to have like a really good trend, right, on TikTok or something, because it has a very, very good dance. If you just take like 15, 30 seconds out of it and do it. But if you actually watch the whole choreography, like from start to finish, to four minutes or something like that, very, very long video, by the way, is kind of repetitive. In I'm not too sure if I like it that much, to be honest. 
because it is kind of a pop song, more so than anything. And the chorus repeats very often. So there's not much verses. We have like a really short rap in the bridge-ish, I guess. Mm, not too sure. I don't think it just works that well as it did in BTBT, BT, where they also did that with the repetitiveness. But for R&B songs, it works much better. And also they just, just sounded better in that song. Whereas here, I'm not too sure about, to be honest. Yeah, that's, that's really it for BIs Keep Me Up. I'm not sure if this is the mini-album. I think it is though, right? Is it not? I think I heard something about that. But yeah, um, either way, check out the B-Sides too if you're interested in and you like the song. Other than that, I will be moving on to my Killing Verse reaction that I will be filming right after this. And that will be coming out over on my second channel, the Hip Hop channel. But still, it will also be found in the playlist which are in this video's comment section in the play, uh, pinned comment for the BI icon and also the K-Hip operations. Um, I will put the playlist there so all of those playlists will include the Killing Verse as soon as I posted it. So you don't even have to necessarily check my second channel if you can't find it or whatever. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Have a nice day. See you next one. Peace.